Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. <sighs> All right. So, hi. <laughs> this is my first time ever playing um, Dream Daddy. It got a lot of hype like a month ago, and I was busy, you know, getting married, and I just didn't have time. And now I have time. <laughs> Now I have time, and I am interested, so... Let's see... Got a new game going! Dad. Dad, wake up! <laughs> I let my tongue run out of my mouth. And stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. <laughs> this is the end for me. <laughs> Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath to you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Ah, uh, uh, such so sassy. Oh, but I love her haircut, though, and that bow. She's got a... We all see in this little... In this little sock-boiled egg on her jacket. That's awesome. And her nails. A plus. Morning, Manda Panda. Hi. Oh, my God. Ugh. Yikes, Dad. Breath. Yep. Go brush your teeth. I said no, thank you, sir. Ooh. First is the worst. Second is the best. <laughs> Third is the one with the hairiest chest. Real Jesus. So what am I, what am I looking at here? Like, what am I, what am I looking at here? <gasps> There's a hair switch? There's a fucking hair switch, okay. Okay, all right. Uh. Oh my gosh. When is, what? What's the difference? Why is- what is- Binder bod? Question mark? What is happening? I don't understand. Yeah. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it, but I think that- I think fat dads are the cutest, so I'm gonna go with the fat dad bod. Look at that cheek! <laughs> oh. Look at these eyes. Are we all quite serious right now? This is a real thing? Like this is really, really happening? Are we- <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. I'm gonna make Sailor Moon dead. This is so exciting. Like, what in the- What in the world? Oh, I can't do that. I just- Ugh. Ugh. This is interesting! <laughs> oh, I'm a fan of buns. I'm a fan of man. I'm, I'm a fan of dad. Look, he bleaches his eyebrows. <laughs> like, change your eyebrows. And also your eyes. I have some questions. I, uh, 
I've got some questions. Uh... Oh my god. All oh, those bedroom eyes, though. Girl! Uh... Oh. oh well, well, this is interesting. Okay. This is, uh... This is very strange. <laughs> okay, let's just go with, uh... That's fine. Question mark? Let me in my time! Sorry. <laughs> I don't understand! I don't... That's terrifying! Oh my god! <laughs> Excuse me? Pardon me! Oh my god. You're gonna let me put lipstick on him? Girl! Give this man some lipstick! Maybe... I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we could give him... Matching colors? Holy shit, that's freaky. <laughs> oh god. Okay, okay, alright. But, uh... Uh... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Gee. Let's, uh... Oh! My thoughts exactly. Jesus Christ! Okay, this is uh, this is a uh, this is straight up spooky. Yes, yes, sir slash ma'am. Okay, well, let's just go with. Oh my God! So sassy! So sassy! So sassy! Oh! Let me do that. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It's really okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Oh my god. This is the best day. This is the best day of all day. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Oh, very simple. Such cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's got cats on his shirt. I just... Oh, that's really cute. Okay. Piercings? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, so... I, I only have my ears pierced once. Oh my god. No, I'm okay. I just... Oh my gosh, he looks so nerdy. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Eventually, I'm gonna get everything. Look at him. He's actually really... I like that better. <gasps> I can give him a beard. Holy shit. No, no. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. Make it match. Oh my god. <sighs> oh my gosh. Look at how cute he is. I'm about this. I'm perfect. Perfect. Oh, I don't even want to change anything else. This is going to take me forever. Uh, eyes can't be changed. That's okay. Uh, facial hair, perfect. Eyebrows, uh, perfect. Oh, he looks like a mountain man. Okay. Name that dad. Name? Can you stop? Hey. Okay. His name will be. How about Walter? 
How about Walter Costco? Be that daddy. Look at his little face. Be that daddy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. All right. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done. I think. Oh, she doesn't look anything like me. <laughs> Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. What's in it? Looking inside the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. Oh my gosh. Is that, Am is that Amanda? <gasps> what? The only way your father and I, the mother... Uh... Fa yeah, cause we're- yeah, obviously. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute. Could decide between being a princess or a dragon. So you went with both. Princess Dragon. Mm -hmm. A plus. Why do I remember crying in that costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. <laughs> Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Definitely repressed that memory. Uh. Oh my gosh. Look at uh -huh. her. She's so cute. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. A good name. That's a good name oh, for a horse. No. I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Actual adjectives here. Nice try. But this is important blackmail for later down the road. <laughs> Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. Ouch, kid. The ska munist manifesto had a chance back in the day. Oh my god. <laughs> Look up into the distance and reminisce about that red horse section. Hey, it's Emma P. Uh. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. <sighs> Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. All right, Emma P was the one who... Oh. How about... Middle section, yeah. Fire to flaming tennis ball at the police section. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, yeah. right? Dad, that was you. Oh, right. I was a wild child. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda. I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Ugh. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. Yes. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blasts. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Ugh. Dad. Oh my god. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one mm. last photo. No. No. It's kind of a funny story. I got in a car accident right there in the hospital parking there. I didn't mean to say that. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender, but of course I was freaking out. And the little lady who crashed into us was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. But your father. Oh, man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him, and he says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. <laughs> oh. Go. He was right, you know. I stared at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. Oh. Can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Oh. Come on, pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Oh. 
Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Mm. Hey, remember when I shattered the front door with the front window playing catch? Oh my god. You always had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? Oh my god. You were a very imaginative child. <laughs> Hey, remember when I broke the back window? Play we get it, Amanda. You break stuff. And there will be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Oh. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving band begins to pull away, and I get in the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear into the rearview mirror. So, so what? Mm -hmm. <sighs> so sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my very best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... <laughs> washer, or honey, have you read dirty clothes? For most of my life, yes. We'll worry about that no longer, as our new place features... <laughs> Imaginations that will not only clean your clothes, but will dry them directly thereafter. Mm. An upper class luxury, I fear. The concept of clean clothes is no longer in the hands of the fat cats upstairs, sweetie. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Ah. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Ah. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Mm -hmm. Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Oh. I don't know how to do that either. <laughs> you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. <gasps> oh. huh. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're real. Hey. Don't you dare. <laughs> Senior. Huh. <laughs> Dad was going, citizen. Hmm. I'm just going to ignore that. Oh. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that is blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay. You're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. Check in the area! Pull up to the new house and step inside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Oh hey -ya! And with the sweat kit from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. <laughs> I'm so proud. Oh. Man, all that karate talking tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Uh... Did you even see all the dogs in the neighborhood nearby? You know it. Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog to person ratio is very high. I want what's best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell, Dog! To rock it way up. I mean, you do that a lot already. Yeah. Hey, it's a dog! Oh. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. <laughs> oh my god. We want to see real dogs so bad. Let's go to that park around the corner. <sighs> Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Huh? Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroll over there? Government operative. Mm. We're on to you, baby. <laughs> ah. We walk for a while and eventually end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes yeah, romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Ah. Ooh! Ow! Oh! Bleep bloop! 
oh, frisbee yeah. suddenly hits me in the face. <laughs> Woof. Ah. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied up to him. Oh, look at him. Oh, girl. I like your necktie. Rough. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh, God. This is the cutest dog. Pet the dog. But where do I pet the dog? Oh, jeez. Give him those head rubs. He seems to love a good head rub. All smiles here. You definitely could have caught that. <gasps> oh. Hello. Who dis? You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands. Not your face. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> it's a new technique. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my yeah, face. Exactly Looks like you're winning. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. Um, Walter, and this is my daughter, Amanda. Look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Rub that tum tum. Hi. Yeah. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on a, such a sunny day. Where's yours? Ryan gestures over to a grassy knoll, a knoll, where a young girl sits on a blah blah blah. And she's, she looks and hands over. Oh, she's really cute too. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karmazov. Her teacher tells me that she has reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Ah. Whoa. My natural dad instincts. Excuse me? <gasps> Why did the music change? Oh no, it's happening. Are we quite serious right now? We're... We're serious? We're all serious? Um, I... That's my girl! Walter, Amanda, get in there! Okay, okay. Oh... My god. This is an actual thing? Uh. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations! Ryan loses 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. He lose 15? What the fuck? Can't switch daughters! Amanda is your only daughter! Oh my gosh. Uh how about alright. <sighs> I'm drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute. This isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP. You regain 20. Hell, freaking yeah! Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Okay. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Daisy just sold enough candy bars this week to. Oh my god. Rude! Great spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy's getting prep for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Oh, did I mention Daisy said her first word at ten months? Daddy. Oh. Oh. God. Amanda's in all honor classes this semester. Cool. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teacher about having her skip a grade. <gasps> oh, jeez. I'm 
gonna die. And this great card out of your back pocket. I made it dead. Awesome grades. Brian loses 25 HP. You really carry that around everywhere? Now oh, maybe it is kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. Daisy here has all sorts, all of her adult teeth. And it self-consciously pushes your lips together to hide your teeth. Oh. Oh god. What? What just happened? Excuse me? Like, pardon me? Yeah. The coldie Zack next to the coffee yeah. shop. Oh, but she's really cute. Take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you. Oh my 